It's one of the most important showcases for music. It's always got a, a, a huge array of, of uh, bands playing at it. You get to show off our lovely, live and vibrant city. There's always a good atmosphere. I really enjoy her and Plessier and I always look forward to when it comes around because it's, there's a great buzz about it and it's fun to play. Everyone that goes seems to be really into their music as well. You know, when, when bands play something like this, that, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it means a lot of things to them. It's just a really fun little festival. You're almost guaranteed that, that anyone playing at it is, um, is, a, 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 is of a good standard too. It's a stage in a career, a stage in a career development. The list of bands that I've discovered from it is um, pretty extensive. Just a brilliant, brilliant platform for Irish artists and bands. It's a great reflection of what music is like here in Dublin and anywhere in Ireland. And, uh, people can come and, and see the best of Irish music in action. It's the end of the summer as well, so it's like that and then suddenly hard work glass heroes deadly. Everywhere you go, the bands are going to hear are gonna be playing. That's a great post to have. The first memory I have of Hard Work Class Heroes, uh, I kind of heard about you were the gigs that were on in the project in 2003 and 2004. The first year I couldn't go and I cried. I feel very privileged to have been involved with Hard Working Class Heroes since the beginning uh, when Angela asked me to listen to, I think it was 300 CDs, <laughs> to whittle it down to the number of bands that would take part. It was a real honour to hear some of these bands, I suppose before anybody else did, or many people did. I remember going out to the Olympia and lots of bands kind of met up and there was a sort of a press call for all the bands that were playing. We also played in the Olympia. Which really with good. Idlewild, who were like kind of childhood. Because the thing with the immediate was that we were always sort of just school friends who, who were kind of messing about. But then suddenly we were playing this gig in, in, in Temple Bar, Meeting House Square, and there was people actually had come to see us, and we were playing alongside international acts as well, and we were, we were basically like you know, kids in a toy shop. Yeah. We tried to get in the year before, the first, in 2004, but they wouldn't let us in because we weren't good. And they were right, because we were terrible. <laughs> But we had never played, apart from a festival maybe, to, to a big club crowd, so Tripod was, was rammed that night. I played in 2007 in the pod. I remember Fight Like Apes, they just started kind of gaining a lot of traction. And they played in Craw Daddy, that was an amazing gig. Angela had to actually barricade herself up against the doors of Craw Daddy, so no one else could get in. Oh was yeah, like, it was like bats and halves. I remember the year bats played for us, that was on the Meeting House Square stage, and that seemed like a really big deal to have this crusty little lower deck band playing in like a really cool space in the middle of Sixth Century. Oh, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, I got burned in the face. It was one of our first proper gigs that we were in front of kind of a proper audience. I remember that Headers played and um, downstairs in the hub because it was just them on their, on their guitar and they just blew so many people away. I played it in 2010 with Squarehead, which was brilliant. I played the Workmans with Castle Cheers, which was a really good night. Uh, Castle Cheers as well. Yeah. Oh, you snuck in and I was stuck. I had to. No, no I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Packed the place out, had queues around the block. I, I do a lot of binge geeking at, at, at things like Hard Work Cathedrals, where I just kind of go to as many venues as I can, see as many bands as I can. And despite I've been warned by everyone, you know, you, you might find it hard to get back in. I said, I'd easily get back in. There's no problem getting back in. She's like, we know it'd be a queue. So coming down to see it, to cast the cheers headlining, the queue just stretched for miles. And I was there going, oh God, I can't get into my own night. Just last year we played it again. We were just about to release our first album. We made contacts with um, like bloggers from America and bookers from various festivals and festivals like um, The Great Escape and Eurosonic which we subsequently attended kind of on the back of that. And then last year um, in, in the Workmans we had Mott that kind of helped get him onto festivals like South by Southwest where you know the Hype Machine party that we did this year one of the guys from the Hype Machine was at that gig and he was asking for Mott. You know, whether it's industry experts, other bands, um, 
the organization themselves. Um, it's, you know, it's just a great opportunity to acquire some knowledge. I just know that the caliber of delegates who come in from overseas is, elevates this festival above anything else that happens on this small, wet, green island. It's a great learning curve for the bands and artists themselves as well. If you succeed these days, I think you really do need to have some sort of notion about how it all fits together. Um, I think it's the uh, the sense of community, feeling that you're not just on your own uh, trying to make it in the game, but you actually share a passion and a love um, for something with so many other people. Irish music at the moment is doing really well and there's lots of great music happening. It just creates a, a good awareness for the good things that are actually happening here. It's a great starting point, it's great to meet other bands, it's a great way of connecting with people, it's a great way to understand music from Ireland and all the other amazing projects that Hard Work Class Heroes do. But yeah, it's probably the best. I mean, it's fair to say that Hard Work Class Heroes is the best music showcase in Ireland. Right. It would almost be, um, you know, ridiculous for something like this not to happen, for something like Hard Working Class Heroes not to exist. I think, for me, the important thing about Hard Working Class Heroes is that they're passionate about what they do. The whole thing has just evolved and changed so much in line with the scene, and I really think that creating what Hard Working Class Heroes has done, we're kind of seeing the fruits of, of that labour, that decade of, of labour right now with how amazing the music from Ireland uh, coming out right now is. And, you know, here's to another 10 years. Hard Working Class Heroes does a very uh, vital, fulfills a very vital role, and uh, long may continue to do so. I can't wait for loads more. Do not miss it this year. Over here. The Arts Council is delighted to have been involved in hard working class heroes for the last 10 years. We wish you a very happy birthday and continued success.